Hello, Magic, and today we are back with Urban Legend of Limbo. So you may be asking, why the hell am I back here? Well, uh, if you guys did not know, there was an English patch that happened for this game. So I'm thinking, let's come back here and try it out. Go try it out because the first time I played it, it was when it was first released. Played the whole, the living hell out of it, and you know, got it all done. But we didn't know what it said. Now, obviously, you can go to the to a wiki site just to check out what the storyline is. I've already checked the. A little bit but I haven't seen much I know like how it turns out like in the end and whatnot so but I want to see how every other character's interaction now which we did not get to do with because you know it's all in Japanese so just to oops no I don't want to go there bad idea so story mode normal mode. so just to show you guys see as you can tell all of English so Reimu so as you guys know this is based on my old profile oh old profile so every one of them has been unlocked so you know we should be going them in order so we'll do from prologue all the way to the bottom, just so we get the story mode. So again, this is just to see what the what the dialogue is. Pretty much, this should be a lot easier since I had I played this before. But the issue is I haven't touched this since shit like like two three months ago. So yeah, uh, so let's give it a shot. So we'll go with Raymond. Let's read what she says. All sorts of urban legends have been spread out. Uh, Gensokyo. Of those, many were made up intentionally. It was established practice to turn a personality convenient or legend into one's own power. But regardless, Marissa was here for a particular reason. So, Reimu, yep. Divine Arts, Army Directional, we're gonna rock with that. This prologue is pretty short. Grab the Occult Ball, all right. I found something real interesting here at Corindo. Looks like nobody's noticed this phenomenon yet. Better act now and take his power for my own. Marissa Kirisame, cool. Horror it, magician of the school. Oh, oh, uh, hi. What's your up to at this time like this? Well, I found something kind of interesting and figured I could test it out on you. Test it out, huh? That doesn't sound too friendly. No, it does not. But I've got something too. You came at the right time. Time to cut loose and test out this out on you. Behold this occult power. Alright, so let's see this. Alright, starting off. Okay, come on, let me a goddamn attack. All right, so it has been a while. Oh, so. Sweet. Okay, let's see. Reimu, I like her range because the needles. Uh, Daniel, it's pretty good here. If I can actually play, okay, one down. This should be his spell card. Star sign occultation. Oh, oops. Now just okay. That was why was it hard to hit? There you go. Sweet. Might as well use that. My cult ability. Was that defeat or no? I can't tell right now. Well, when I said test it, I actually meant you having you taste these mushrooms for poison. But just what are you trying to show me by attacking me all of a sudden? Don't tell me you're already done, are you? Of course not. How would taste at this? A new way to use these herb occult urban legends. Let's see, let's see. Cursed portraits of past principles. <laughs> nice. Alright. I forgot how to deal with this shit. I really have. <laughs> so long. Alright, good. That's one down. Right. Where's my where's my boost? There you go. I was trying to figure out how to boost. Okay. Nope. I should not lose this quickly, or this would be one hell of a way to start off. Okay, come on, hit the goddamn. There we go. Now, I'm just gonna end it off with Omnibus just to make it cool. Flashy, there you go. Well, I don't know why that took so long to do it. I could have sworn the prologue had like a little dialogue or whatnot sequence to it. Raymu, of course we won that shit, even though that took a little while. Whoop, well, that's it, I guess. Isn't it cool though? We can freely control the urban legends. Well, I certainly saw as much, but what was that bizarre ball a second ago? Beats me. Alright, so the next one should be Kazen. An occult hermit. There we go. I see, I see. Marissa had a ball too. Kazen e Okay, I'm not gonna try reading that at this point. Marissa had one too. Oh, just kidding. Sorry. What were we talking about? <laughs> it's no use playing dumb. I thought you would know something about this made up urban legend. Look, le eh, looks like I was right. That herbal legend being, if you collect the seven occult balls, which reminds me of the dragon balls, you wish to grant a huge incident curse, right? Well, they both have different ideas. Eh, whatever. So when Marissa used this weird move, this weird ball, uh, ball appeared too. 
I would think that ball was one of the rumored occult balls. Although in the first place, I don't know if someone just spread that rumor by using up a made up urban legend. If your story about Marissa is true then, you're the one holding the occult ball right now. Hmm, um, my apologies, but I'll be taking that ball here and now. Alright, let's deal with this. Okay, this should be a lot easier since I have a little better control of Reimu's uh, character now. But I actually know what the hell I'm pressing now. Ish. Okay, that's one down. Now we gotta deal with her spell card? Or sorts anyway? Let's see. Just spam. Oh crap. Alright, just dodge this one. Alright, we should have enough. There you go. Just enough to combo. Now she's gonna use her occult ball. Hand that grants wishes until death. Can't remember what this one was. It's much easier knowing that you can actually activate the dash button with one button. Alright, good. Right, easy, easy does it, easy does it. Come on, grab the goddamn orb. There we go. And just a duo of style? Wait. Now we got it. Please die, 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 die. Yes, yes, you got, you got an enemy with a flare, you know what I'm saying? All right, good, good, good. Not too bad, not too bad. Sad part is, I played this, what, two matches with Raymond. I'm never gonna touch her again until the last part. Oh, sad times. Well, I figured as much. You're not gonna hand it over that easily. Using my full strength here would be risky for several, several reasons. I have to at least warn her though. Alright. What was that? You pulled out some word ball too. Don't tell me it's just like what the rumor said. Raymu, this ball is dangerous. It isn't a rumor that someone fabricated. This ball alone isn't a made up urban legend. It's like a genuine occult incident. Alright, here we go. Darkness of the Night of the Occultism. Geez, thanks to all that weird stuff she was saying, I'm too intrigued to sleep. And then there's Sumiriko. Who's there on night like this? Hmm. No reactions. There's nobody in front of me. Well, huh, geez, I must be sleeping after all. This is just a dream. Or rather not. Not with this occult. Or aura. Better strike before they do. Stop. And yeah. To be continued, we get it, we get it, game. You don't have to go flashing on this. Yes. Alright, so as you can tell, that was uh, obviously that was a prologue. So I'm probably gonna cut it off here, but since it's such a short one, I'll probably, um, what's call again? Put the post to another one, so I'll post Marissa's one right after as well. But yeah, so obviously we'll be going through everyone, getting the dialogue and whatnot, just so you guys know in case you don't want to look up the wiki. Uh, but yeah, like always. And let's see what thing else. Yeah, I'll probably be doing this playthrough just to give us a break from the Raymu route in PCB, just in case, you know, because I kind of wanted to touch this again. But yeah, like always, this is Magi. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode.